right, let me break this down for y'all and show y'all something real cool, real quick. Now I ordered this one, being in Tokyo and all, this one came via Singapore. Was the best price available to me. Best shipping location where I didn't have to pay an exuberant amount of money on the shipping. In fact, I believe the shipping is was free. I got this off eBay. If anybody's curious from East Asia or wherever you may be, I'll let you know the place that way if you're uh, interested they might even have one available for you or I might have got one of the last ones I believe they might have had two but if you're inside the states this is easily read readily available wherever you are just go out to Target or wherever they sell these things and get yourself one for me in Japan it's a lot harder it's just my shipping info just got this one tonight I was surprised with how fast the shipping was because although I ordered it about a week and a half ago they were saying that I should not expect this until the end of October actually until around like uh, early November so I'm quite surprised that it came in about a week and a half time but I'm just an ocean away, a sea away. Here we go. Check that bad boy out. Let me make sure I got this right side up. Star Wars, the, the Black Series, Ray Jedi Training Force Effects Lightsaber. So this is what the box looks like. Almost all sides resemble one another. This is the Hasbro one, not the Disney one with the detachable blade although I would love that I don't think I was ready to spend that kind of money on that so this is uh just a little something for myself for Halloween impress the kids with this one not my kid but <laughs> some kids out there yeah so this is all taped up in multiple places we get this off and then we're gonna get this party party started Brand new. I want to make sure that I take this out carefully. Let's move this box to the side. Of course, you got your usual stand here. This is uh, Sabre number seven inside of the black series. Got your little instructions here. It shows the different ways that you could prop it up on the display stand. So there's an A, B, and C. So three ways. I've never owned a lightsaber before. It's my first time. So I got a, yeah, they got this packaged in here quite nicely. So what I was saying was this is my first time to own a lightsaber. 
I don't know how to open up the base to get the batteries inside of there, but we're gonna figure it out. They got this styrofoamed up quite well. I'll keep all these things in case I want to throw it back in here at any point in time in the future. Batteries not included. Hey, I think that was a movie titled that. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Nice weight. Nice to hold. Metal finish. This is a uh, brushed aluminum. I don't believe it's still as yeah, that's definitely brushed aluminum. Yeah, this is very nice. You got a mirrored finish on the uh igniter here with the on button usually on a lot of blades that I've been seeing on YouTube uh, this was the ignition button but it has been changed to this just up for on and down for off All right, let's go ahead and get some batteries inside this sucker and then then we're gonna see what's up. Only thing I don't like about this, hate all these stickers everywhere, the on and off sticker, the on screw here to insert batteries. I see everybody on YouTube with all these stickers on here. I think I'm gonna take all this stuff off. This CE about uh, don't dispose of this inside the regular garbage can. This thing right here, it says uh, this device is compliant with uh, 15 of the FCC rules. Nobody cares about all that junk on here. It shouldn't even be mentioned. Why does it, why does it need to be? In person, you can see that the light is pretty consistent going all the way down. It might look a little bit different on camera where it looks like it might be dimming out the closer it gets to the edge, but it looks looks better in reality. Let's get on one light real quick. Stand just a little bit flimsy. The stand is uh, plastic, not like I was expecting glass, but it would have been nice. I mean, either either would scratch up, but uh, I got this one already with a little bit of a kind of a manufacturer's scratch already on it. This thing has never been opened before, so. I know that it didn't come from the seller, it just probably just happened like that from shipping or straight straight out of the plant. It's not uh, anything bad. And in fact, the moment I place the blade down, it's going to cover up that little scratch. It's only a couple of centimeters, it's not even that bad. How satisfied am I with this purchase? I'm very satisfied. I like this thing a lot. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get all these stickers off of here. The grip on this, for one-handed grip, is quite nice. And even holding it two hands is quite nice as well. Let's get, in, let's get this other light on. So you're gripping it above the switch, you can put your second hand below it and that feels quite comfortable. Or even I can rotate it and do the same thing and hold it the other way. Not a whole lot to get us out of your way. You can see I got this one resting on 
in between my uh, pointer finger and my thumb. That's quite comfortable for me to hold like that. Or you can do it the reverse of that. The speaker is not the loudest in the world, but it's adequate. Definitely don't do it with this because you could tell that you would bust the LEDs very easily. If not, something's going to happen to this. But if you could modify this and turn it into a dueling saber, I think that would be absolutely awesome. Break it as many times as you want. Just keep repairing it. I think the only thing that you have to be worried about is the LEDs, of course. Everything else is, is fine. As long as you can replace that, you're good to go. You can duel with it as much as you want. Very satisfied with this purchase. Night, nice, consistent light. good quality very nice light nice coloring yeah I'm very happy with this all right that's it gentlemen I'd like to thank you guys for watching just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button there's more to come this there's another special uh, surprise coming along with this that's traveling right behind it and that'll be here soon and I can't wait to show that to you guys as well all right I'm out Let's do some different tests with with some uh, different kind of lighting on. This is all my room lights on. It's, it's at night, but all my room lights is on. One behind the camera over there and one right next to my head. Let's see how well that you guys can see this. I can see it fairly well, even in a lit up place. I like the length of this. I mean, it could even be some centimeters longer. I would be happy with that, but uh, the length is perfectly fine with me. I think it's something like 33, but I could be something more akin to uh, 36 or 37 would make me happy. Very nice weight. Put your on and off switch. Gotta be careful not to break anything inside of here. <laughs> All right. Let's get this light off. Just one light. So now we got the one behind the camera still on That's how they turn it on inside the movies. They would be holding it right there, right? And then they would have to come out and switch out the blades with them. They would actually have to put the blade on there. You remember the old Star Wars movies? When you watch those making of videos and see how they did the magic.
that speaker could definitely be louder. During Halloween, I'm going to be holding this thing during a public event. And it would be nice if it could be heard by about 100 people that's going to be there. But I don't think the sound is going to travel that far, unfortunately. Let's do one more thing. We'll turn on this light and we'll turn off the one that's behind the camera. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Because the last time... I was farther away from the light source, but this time I'm right underneath it, but at least I have that back one turned off. Even next to a light source, it still looks good. Inspecting the top here. Whatever this material is here, this plastic material, I wish they would have did this all the way around even to the tip. Give it a more consistent look because it looks kind of like this protective head is on here. But as if the uh, saber doesn't travel all the way up to there. It would be nice if the light was consistent all the way around. That's fine with me. next how about all lights off it's only when you do some some throwing of the handle of the hilt do you hear some kind of noise Be careful. I'm in a very tight, confined space here. <laughs> 